Floating the Buffalo River, America's first national river for the very first time is quite the thrill in of itself. But when you're 88, it becomes an even more special occasion. Wow. This is nice. Wow. It fell a long time ago. A trip down the Buffalo has been Millie Calhoun's dream for a long time. So when she wrote us a letter asking if we could put her in touch with an outfitter, we knew this would be a float trip of a lifetime. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? Huh. Wow. Millie's desire was to float the upper portion of the buffalo, so we hooked her up with Mike Mills of the Buffalo Outdoor Center in Ponca. This is a lot easier than walking that goat trail, isn't it? Well, I'm glad there's only one of us paddling because that means it'll take longer. Well, actually, I'm not doing a whole lot. The river's just kind of moving us along. Yeah. That's one of the... That's cotton. That's why they call it a float trip. It's really wild out here. Yes, ma'am, this is about as close to wilderness in Arkansas as you're gonna get. Mm -hmm. Ooh, look at that. And you know, isn't it amazing when they made this a first national river? And it's just like you've seen today. You got families and kids and adults and, and they're all able to go down this part of the river because it's it's not that dangerous. It's, mm -mm. I mean, um, no. and, and it's so beautiful. Yeah. And I mean, you're the you're one of the luckiest people I know because about a week ago it was getting too low to canoe. Oh dear. And then all of a sudden we got almost two inches of rain. Uh -huh. And that's what's brought the river up like it is right now where it makes it really nice floating. When is your usual high water stuff? When? It's usually in May or uh, April. Although it can happen in November or December. And most people never see the Lockhead Barn, which is right back there. See it up on top, Millie? Look up. Oh boy. We got some real white water now. Hey. <laughs> That's what most people come for. They don't want too much, they just want a little. Yeah, that's great. Does it ever get warm enough to do this in an inner tube? Well, what happens is when it gets that warm, it's really shallow. Uh -huh. And so all these little rapids, you're having to walk across. <laughs> and, and, and when it gets that warm, you start getting algae on the bottom of the river, oh. and then it gets real slick. <laughs> so then you're walking on grease basketballs. And, and so it's, you know, they play with inner tubes as far as, uh, you know, the swimming holes and that kind of stuff. There'd be some fish in this pool because of them big rocks right back there, mm -hmm. right below a rapid. Those fish would sit there in those eddies behind those rocks, mm -hmm. waiting for something to come through. Guess where we can look at all those bluffs. Wow. That's a lot of rock. Yeah. See, the natural color of the bluff is that light colored. Uh -huh. That's limestone. Uh -huh. And then the stains are made when that, when that water comes over. 
Yeah. This is a really good place where you see the natural color and then you see the gray where it doesn't get hardly any water, just rain. Then you see the black where rain water runs off a little bit. And then you see the brown where water runs off a lot. Oh gosh, unbelievable. Speaking of bluffs, along this eight mile or so stretch between Steel Creek and Kyle's Landing happens to be the tallest bluff in Mid-America, simply called Big Bluff. About 525 feet tall. And then if you see the red stripe about three-fourths way up, that's what they call the goat trail. Oh. You can see the ledge pretty good now that they walk on. Uh -huh. It looks like it's about four or five foot thick, it's actually more like 10, 12 foot thick, but that's where they walk, right there. And it just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Is that the waterfall we hear? Yeah. Another area along this section of river that's worthwhile to stop and explore is Bear Cave Hollow Falls. It just keeps doing this yeah, around it's gorgeous. the corner, just more and more and more. It's gorgeous. This is called Bear Cave Hollow. And at the top of it, there's a series of little caves where a bear's den. Down here, it's just these stair-step waterfalls that are so pretty. They're beautiful. And so, as the water flowed, the birds sang, the Buffalo National River enveloped 88-year-young Millie Calhoun into an unforgettable piece for an experience of a lifetime. So people just show up up there without any instruction or anything and rent something and go out? Yes, ma'am. Happens every day. Well, Millie, tell us what you think. I think it's the grandest trip just to know that you, you don't have to hurry, you're just here. And it's all beautiful. Did you ever think uh, that it was gonna be this spectacular? I don't know what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know I'd have such good guides and people on the side to help do everything. That's what makes a trip wonderful. Now, you had, uh, when we first talked about this, you had uh, mentioned going in a John boat. Mm -hmm. So you you really didn't even know you were going to be going in a canoe. <laughs> we kind of sprung that on you. I don't think I'd have come <laughs> up quite so quickly. <laughs> first time in a yeah, and first time in a canoe. At Girl Scout camp, they tried to teach us to paddle one, and that yeah. was a failure. I love the way the colors run down the bluff. It's just, un and then some of them have millions of little holes in it. It's just, and the, there's no place in some places for dirt, but trees grow anyway. It's wonderful to see how nature keeps competing. I guess, you know, I tell a lot of people when, uh, and Mike Mills does too, when, you know, you. You come here and you realize why this was chosen as America's first national river and why Mike Mills tells everybody, welcome to heaven. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. <laughs> You know, Chuck, today uh, was a beautiful day. It was one of those postcard days, uh, white puffy clouds, beautiful temperature. Millie Calhoun may be an 88 years old, but today she was 20 in her heart and soul. And she told me, she says, I don't know when I'll ever get rid of the peace I found today. And I believe her, I think she has soaked it up. And that's what America's First National River does to you.
I think the Lord had fun putting this stuff together. do I have? Oh, about uh, five, four and a half, five. Good. If you've been looking for that perfect place to go tubing that has some really neat rapids that are perfectly safe, by the way, then let us recommend the Whitewater Recreation Park just south of Salem Springs. We will go down the rapids and we flip like a million times. And what else? This one is really fun because you flip a lot. And sometimes you feel like you can't get up, but you can. <laughs> the water really is fun here as far as uh, you go under them, but you, like you said, you pop right mm -hmm. back up. Mm -hmm. You can use about anything except I wouldn't recommend going with nothing because you might. At least with the life jacket, huh? Yeah. But with the tube is even better. Yeah. been coming down here for ever since they opened it and um, we have been enjoying the rapids it's nice to be able to get very close to them while as they're going down you can just they you watch them laugh and play as they're going down the rapids and you know there's a lot of areas that you can not only have the rapids but they can just enjoy swimming and um, laying out in the sun and visiting with their friends and the beauty about this it's uh, even though it's man-made engineered but it's uh, it's natural right it's, right there's a lot know. of shallow parts there's deep parts and I think you know um, they've got several areas where the kids can go down with the tubes and then they have the kayaking areas I think whether you're advanced or you know a new swimmer I think that either way you can enjoy it What's really impressive, though, and appreciated is what this park offers for whitewater kayaking enthusiasts. It's proven to be the ideal training ground for all skill levels. Well, the park's been uh, engineered in a way to, to help play boaters and creek and river boaters improve their skills. These waves are engineered to where you can surf, you can practice your ferrying, there's pools where you can practice your rolls. So basically any kind of techniques for the kayak, uh, for any kind of kayakers and open boaters. So it's just a, a really great park for any kind of learning. I've only been doing it about two months. And I live close by, so I've gotten about a year's worth of paddling in just coming down here. And for the most part, you could do this almost the whole year through here, huh? Oh yeah, I mean, it's uh, obviously the water's gonna be colder at certain times of the year, but uh, I think most of the boaters in the area and uh, from all around the area, there's people coming from hundreds of miles around to uh, come to this uh, park and play area. And uh, they were they had their dry suits on and we're out here in November, December, January, you know, testing the park out for the engineers and testing the waves out and just, you know, getting their skills up. So any time of the year, I mean, 
there's always going to be a level of flow here that will allow some form of play or learning with the boats. I went through the natural Fisher Ford for the last time before they started construction. And it was uh, a one, about a one foot drop off and then about a three foot drop off naturally. And uh, just a blast. And I knew they were coming in to do this and it's just, it's improved it so dramatically. I mean, you can sit right here and play all day long, you know. Uh, I've got three different types of, of kayaks, but I can come right here. I don't have to worry about shuttling boats, you know, finding somebody picking me up at the other end. I pull up here and I can stay all day long. Uh, it's a blast. It's going to grow and grow. You know, kayaking is, has come so far in the last few years. The, the equipment is just amazing. Uh, as you see, I've turned over numerous times today. This is a brand new boat to me. I'm just learning it. Uh, I absolutely love it. You know, I could do this all day long. I do it year round. Uh, in the wintertime, we hit the creeks when the rain comes up. You know, all over west, uh, northwest Arkansas, central, north central, uh, Cossatot down south. So I'm really excited about, you know, honing my skills here and learning how to protect myself and be safe so that when I do hit the big water, I'm not upside down all the time. Well, if you can do the Costa Tot, you're a better man than me. <laughs> I will do it. That's my goal to do the Costa Tot this fall. But that's my goal. Well, I think the entire site is far more impressive than I expected it to be. Um, I don't know what I expected. I was out here before they made this transformation, and uh, it's really exciting to see all of these people out here enjoying uh, the new space with their families swimming, and some are going down in tubes, which I didn't really expect. I don't know what I was thinking. Some are floating down, you know, without tubes and kayaks and tandem canoes, and so it is, it's a really neat place. It's just a whole array of white water action here. Yeah, absolutely. I can see that there would be a lot of excitement here for both advanced boaters um, and people just starting out uh, in, in kayaks for the first time, uh, not unlike myself, really, and my 10-year-old son who's here. And um, so I think, it's, I think it holds a lot of exciting opportunities for the future, and um, I think that we'll see more and more people out here. Well, you know, now I couldn't resist borrowing a tube and enjoying the rapids myself. So hop on and let us take you down with us. work at the office. The Long Pool Campground and Recreation Area in the Ozark National Forest north of Russellville near Dover is one of those places that's popular the whole year round. During the summertime, huge boulders serving as diving platforms and the cool water of Big Piney Creek make for a perfect swimming hole. I like to jump off the rock over there because it's steep enough, you won't hit anything. Um, you can just 
swim around and not... Just enjoy. Yeah, the gnats are no extra charge. You can just swim around and not even jump off the rock if you're scared. It's not that high. The climb, it, it's kind of hard, but there's like these little step things that you can step on and get mm -hmm. up. And um, there's this rapid thing over there and it's like a rapid flowing stream and like you can just like it will pull you but you can grab onto rocks that's what me and him were doing later I mean earlier and it's just really fun to swim here we're uh, about five or six times a year we're here my kids love to jump off the rock and, and everything come out here to swim the water's always clean and pretty uh, it's nice and cool it's a good place to swim the water's deep enough for you you can wait if you want to there's little rapids over here that don't get out of hand so you can walk around in those and my kids just love it it's mainly for them i kind of just get out there a little bit you know it's deep enough that rock is uh got deep enough water off of it that um, they can jump off there safely, there's no problem. And past the rapids over there, uh, this is where you can actually uh, fish. They don't allow any fishing over here by yeah. the swimming area. Yeah, there's some signs and stuff when you come in that don't, won't allow you to fish. Uh, no alcohol, things like that, I like that too. Um, keeps everything settled down for my kids while they're here. Since Long Pool is also one of the main float access points for Big Piney Creek, if the water is up, kayakers and canoeists also make their way through the swimming hole area. As we mentioned earlier, downstream from the swimming area past the rapids is where you can throw a line in and do a little fishing. Longpool's place we went to started years ago. We would like to go to Mount Nebo. And there's no water at Mount Nebo. In the summertime, you like water, so we looked for areas with natural swimming holes, and somebody told us about Longpool probably eight years ago. We've been back four or five times and really, really like it. It's really pretty. It's a great place to jump off the rocks. And my son talks about it. Galen talks about it all the time, wanting to come back. Right, Galen? He's, he came a long way and is not one. He's always talked about getting back here. Lexi, why do you like it? I like jumping off rocks and cliff jumping. and I just like roller coasters and stuff like that. Uh, so you're, uh, you're the high adventure one. Yeah. <laughs> the daredevil one. Uh huh. So get out and explore for yourself the Long Pool Recreation Area in the Ozark National Forest near Dover. And for more on this destination, plus many of our others, or to order a copy of an episode, visit our website at aetn.org slash exploringarkansas. And don't forget to like us on our Facebook fan page. And we'll see you again the next time for another exciting adventure on Exploring Arkansas.